Hello and welcome back to Concert Critiques in Cars with Emily. So tonight's show was kind of an awesome one and I'm pretty excited about it. So it was um, Black Keys, Modest Mouse, and the opener was Jesse Wilson. And it was at the Anthem. So getting there wasn't that bad. It was a Saturday, so the traffic wasn't terrible. Parked in the same parking garage I usually park in. So that was pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, also went out to dinner beforehand. My husband came with me, so that was pretty nice. And then I actually ended up meeting um, a co-worker and some of his friends and his wife. So that was kind of a fun time. Definitely a different setting for me because I usually go to concerts by myself. So definitely interesting to have you know more people there and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get into the show. Um, so Jesse Wilson was an interesting act, and I'm pretty sure she was just there because one of the members of Black Keys helped her produce her music or something like that. Um, she had mentioned that she was working with him on her new album, so he clearly wanted to promote his new person or whatever, um, which was fine. It definitely had some interesting parts to it, so I really liked any part of her show that was like a rock sounding song. Um, like the first song definitely sounded like a rock song and then the second song was slower and I was not a big fan of the chorus. I really did not like the chorus. I just thought the words were a little cheesy and I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, and then so right after that she kind of talks about how she's an independent artist and she's a woman and she's you know a woman in alternative which makes it even harder. Um, and then she proceeded to play two songs that sounded more like R&B soul than alternative so that was like interesting comment at that time um but then after that she played like the rest of her set was pretty like clear heavier rock slash alternative rock songs and I really liked those two songs at the end um so yeah it was just like an interesting comment at that time and then to play like two more like jazzy and like R&B-E songs that did not make me think alternative rock but then she ended her show with two like very alternative rock songs um, so definitely an interesting set, not my favorite opener ever, and again, I, now I like feel bad because she's a female and I know that I tend to like not be such a huge fan of female singers, but still, I don't know, there's just something about maybe like the just different genres of music going through the one band, which normally I, I'm not even opposed to that because sometimes I actually like when a band has like a very unique sound for different songs, but I don't know, there was just something about it. and. And again, I really did like the first song and then the last song in particular, I really did like a lot. So those two songs, the, the opening song and the ending song were really great. Didn't really care for um, everything in between. So then there was Modest Mouse. So I love Modest Mouse and I definitely knew more Modest Mouse than I knew Black Keys going into the show and maybe even secretly went to the show more for Modest Mouse than Black Keys. I mean, I kind of was like, oh, Black Keys are playing. I've never seen them before. That will be great. But really, I just wanted to see Modest Mouse. And so... Um, there are a select few songs of Modest Mouse's that I've never seen before and I've seen them quite a few times and I um, would love to one day see. So Modest Mouse, if you're listening, Spitting Venom would be great, um, Ocean Breeze Salty would be awesome. But anyway, so they opened with um, Dark Center of the Universe and I love that song and I don't think I've ever seen it live before so that was fantastic and it was such a good opener definitely like more of kind of an upbeat song and a song that at least the Honest Mouse fans were definitely into so I really liked that and then they followed up with Black Idol X which was just such a good plan and such a great follow-up I really did enjoy that too the song after that was the tortoise and the Taurus, and I had actually just listened to it this morning while I was running but um like the musical part wasn't really um that into the lyrics just because I didn't really know it as well as I knew um the previous two songs and again like to start the show with such two great songs and then to kind of go into a song that I didn't know as much eh. um then they came back though with Lampshades on Fire and then they played Dramamine and if you've never seen Dramamine live it is just like so epically good just so epically good the instrumental part is fantastic and of course they always like change it in terms of just like seeing it live and, and hearing the, the music come from the instruments and just they, they rock out harder and and play like a little bit longer and then of course at the end they added um some lyrics from um sorry life like weeds 
so that was fantastic i really really liked that and, and again i feel like every time i've seen them they always slip in life like weed song uh lyrics but it was great i loved Jeremy mean and i love seeing it live so it was really fantastic um then after that it was just like this epic high and then listen i like autumn bed that song but coming after Dramamine after I was so excited and just like oh this is so good definitely kind of put a downer on this like great awesome song um and then after that they like kind of like went back up again so then they went to Devil's Workday and I was a little disappointed with this song because I know that song really well and it was really hard for me to understand most of the lyrics and so you know in my head I was like off a beat or something and I was like wait no that's not the lyric next and, and so that was just not being able to understand the lyrics was really difficult um and then after that it was they went into a song that I didn't really know the path of least resistance and I, and I don't know that song and it's slower so I was like ugh, I was like between not being able to get the lyrics and then this slower song just definitely like the low of the show and then to make it worse the next song which I was so excited when they first started playing the notes it's um Cities Made of Ashes I was so excited because I love that song I've definitely seen it before so that was not like a oh I've never seen this song before but I love that song and I was so excited and couldn't hear any of the lyrics and again that's a song that I know pretty well so I was again just like disappointed I, I just hate that I couldn't understand lyrics that I should have been able to understand um, so that was definitely, unfortunately, to even say that there was a low in a Modest Mouse set for me, that was definitely the low. It was like three songs in a row, one I didn't understand, one I didn't know and was slow, and then one I loved and really didn't understand, so that was, that was not, not great. But they definitely picked it back up because right after that they played Dashboard and it was fantastic. Really loved how he sang the last, like, three words. He just kind of, like... I don't know, like, like spoke them, but then kind of dropped them off at the same time. So I really liked that. I thought that was really good. Um, and then they played um, Out of Gas, which was definitely an older song. Didn't know it as well. And then they ended with One Wing, which is a great song. I do like that song. But um, but yeah, wish they hadn't ended on that. Would have loved to see um, something else off of Good News for People who love Bad News. I really love that album. So um, that's definitely my uh, one of my favorites. I like Third Planet as well. So which is not the title of the album, but that song is on that album. Anyway, um, yeah, so I loved them. Wish they would have ended on a different song um, and did that that three-song stint where I just could not understand what they were saying was really just oh, so disappointing. But, um, but yeah, so then the Black Keys came on, and so I've never seen the Black Keys, so I was really excited to see what their show was like. And so it was interesting. When they first came on, the background was just like a white sheet, and I was like, huh, I was like, this is a pretty interesting set design, or lack thereof. Um, and so they played um, a really fantastic opener. I really liked it. I, I had no idea what it was, and it definitely got me hooked into their set. Like, I just thought it was really good, definitely upbeat, definitely something I was excited to be like, ooh, like, I really like the song, and I don't even know it. So really thought that was a good choice. I thought maybe they would open with one of their more popular ones, because sometimes bands tend to do that, but they didn't, and I was still totally, like, excited about it, so that was awesome. Um, and then even, like, the second song, um, I didn't know, oh, the next two songs I didn't know, um, but they were also good, and, and like the third song in particular had like more of a blues vibe to it, so definitely, again, like you almost have this changing of genres, right, so you have these like two rock songs followed by like a rock song, but with definitely like a blues feel, so that like totally worked, I really liked that. And then I, the thing I love, like just such a good decision, so again, this like white sheet in the background and you know they had lights and stuff but it wasn't like anything super exciting and, and they did project stuff on that white sheet for the second song um especially the second song they may have done it for the third but I was definitely paying attention for the second song and then they play gold on the ceiling which was fantastic I was so excited to see that song and the curtain drops and these lights on the side of the stage just like come like full force gold light like so fantastic really really love that they like had this opening set and then they're like oh just kidding like we have this another set so like I haven't seen a band do that in a really long time so it was just like awesome to have like this like second set but like I don't know it was just really cool I really liked that touch and I thought that that was a great way instead of just kind of opening with like a hey this is going to be our set they kind of 
kept you hanging for a little bit, and I liked that, and I wasn't expecting that, so I really liked that touch. Um, so yeah, then after that, they played Fever, so again, it was like these two awesome songs right in a row, so really excited. Um, didn't know the third song after that, but um, it was definitely slower, but I still really liked it, so that was awesome. Following that song was another kind of slower song, but this time the um, lead singer was singing it in like a higher pitch, and I was just not feeling it. I don't think that is his range, singing-wise, and just was not a good choice. Um, but I mean, right after that, they play Howlin' For You, which was awesome. Like, to see that live was so fantastic. Just really, really cool. And they had a lot of subtle changes in that, so I really liked the subtle changes. Um, thought that was a really good song. Um, after that, they played um, a couple more songs that I didn't know, and so there were two, like, really, really old songs. They said, like, going back to basements in Ohio, so I'm assuming it was, like, pretty old stuff, like some of their first stuff. Um, really loved the instrumentals in both of those songs, really thought it was really good music in general, really liked their two older songs. And then the next song I don't think was as old, but again, just really loved it, especially for that third song. They really had a great contrast between the music during the verses and then the music during the, the chorus. So I really liked it, a lot of quick notes and a lot of quick moving music in that third song in particular, so that was like definitely a highlight. Um, then they played their like first hit that I remember hearing on the radio and I cannot for the life of me remember the title of it um, but it was great it was awesome and especially like that was just such a great moment in the set because you came off of Howlin' For You then you get these two older songs which were so fantastic really liked the instrumentals then you get this third song with this like fantastic contrast and then you get another hit so I really liked that part it was really awesome um and then they played another song I didn't know but it was definitely just like a blah song it wasn't bad it just wasn't grabbing especially after coming off of a three song like stint that I didn't know of and that like they were just so fantastic so that was um, a little bit disappointing that like one song in the, between like all the other greatness um and then after that they played another song with that had like definitely a solid blues feel with like what i'm gonna go with extended bridge of instruments definitely played a lot of like almost jam bandy long kind of um but not in a bad way it was it was like rock blues so i really liked that and again definitely like an extended instrumental part to that part uh to that song and then they went into the song i was waiting for all night um they played little black submarines and i love that song and was so excited to see it live so if you have not heard that song it has a slower start and then all of a sudden it just like goes into this like faster part so 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 fantastic so the slower part was he comes out the singer it was just the singer with um an acoustic guitar and um a couple instruments come in as he's playing and then there's like this pause in the song there's a pause too but this pause like at this show live was just so great because you know what's coming and you're waiting for it and you're like how long are you gonna make me wait like I just oh it was so fantastic and then like just knowing like okay this was the slow part so they're gonna like come in with all these instruments and it's gonna be awesome and like oh it was so good I loved that song it was definitely the highlight of the show for me hands down like not even a question Black Submarines was so good I'm so glad I got to see that live and then of course they followed up with Lonely Boy like how do you not just love that like duo right there it was so fantastic really really loved it could have ended the show there for me and I would have been so ecstatic um but they did not they went off for their encore um and they played three songs that I didn't know oh that's not true just kidding sorry they came back and they played um low high which was great I did like that song and um I am glad that I saw it live but I I do wish that they had just ended with Black Submarines and then um Black Submarine and then um, Lonely Boy that would have been my personal suggestion but um, 
like seeing uh, low high was really great too and then after that they played two songs that i did not know i really liked the second song in the encore it had like those quick short notes and i really liked the lyrics i thought that was a really good song and then the last one i'm assuming is their current single i honestly i've heard it on the radio a couple times but it did not sound like that similar to me and maybe it's because i haven't listened to it enough um but i was like this is definitely the single right uh is it mm, uh, uh so i'm not really sure i think that it was um i want to say it's gone Go, yeah i don't know anyway rating who all right um opener definitely was an overall low liked the first and last song but just in general was not a huge fan of the genre of music i'm gonna say loved modest mouse definitely unfortunately and, and i it breaks my heart to even say this but definitely had a low for sure which was shocking and sad because i love modest mouse but to not be able to hear lyrics to two songs that i know fairly well and then to sandwich those like with like a terrible song in between that was just slow and i didn't know very well terrible song that was really harsh it's not a terrible song it was a good song it's just super excited to hear um the devil's work day couldn't understand the lyrics slow song i wasn't a, oh, like wasn't familiar with so that was disappointing and then to finish with like that like those first few notes of cities made of ashes which was so good and exciting and then to not be able to understand the lyrics was really really disappointing um but then they had really great songs like dashboard was fantastic dramamine with the life like weeds lyrics was fantastic so they definitely had a lot of highs with unfortunate that that unfortunate low um black keys was pretty consistently fantastic i think um the only song i wasn't a huge fan of was the song that was kind of blah um and then that high pitch song that he's saying that was slower towards the beginning of the set again i could have ended it um with those two songs oh my gosh why am i blanking little black submarine and lonely boy that would have been like the most fantastic ending ever um but yes, yeah, so this is kind of a hard one. I, God, I just I feel like it was just kind of, hmm, I don't know, like lots of highs, lots of lows, and then just like some neutrals. I'm going to give this one a, I'm going to give this one an 8.0. <laughs> I feel like, sorry, I feel like this is a little bit low, but I also feel like it's not. I feel like the opener and the low of Modest Mouse and yeah 8.0 so yeah let me know what you think do you agree do you disagree um have you seen them do you want to see any of the bands i mentioned are you going to did you go to a different show let me know um did modest mouse play different songs for you i'm always interested to know that um comment like subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye